Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about simplification of Boolean expression using Boolean algebra laws in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. The given problem is simplify the following Boolean expression a plus b plus a bar into b bar into c. In the given Boolean expression, it contains three variables a, b and c. Okay. The first term contains only a single variable that is a. The remaining two variables are missing. In the second term, it contains only single variable b. The remaining two variables a and c are missing. The third variable contains three variables either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Okay. Now, in the first term, two variables are missing that is b and c. So, so that the first term can be written as a into 1 into 1. Okay. For this one, the variable b is missing that can be written as 1. For this term, the variable c is missing that can be written as 1. So, a into 1 into 1 is nothing but a. In the same way, in the second term, two variables are missing so that it can be written as b into 1 into 1. For each and every missing variable, we can write it as 1. Okay. Next one. The third term contains three variables a bar, b bar into c. So here I am writing a into 1 into 1 is nothing but a. b into 1 into 1 is nothing but b. Next one. So a into this one can be replaced with missing variable. Okay. So here variable b is missing. That can be written as b plus b bar. This one can be replaced with missing variable b. So how it can be written? b plus b bar. So we already know that b plus b bar is equal to 1. Next, this one can be replaced with the missing variable. How it can be written? c plus c bar. So we already know that c plus c bar is equal to 1. Next, plus b into this one can be replaced with the missing variable. Here, the missing variable is a. So, this can be replaced with a plus a bar. So, here a plus a bar is equal to 1. Next, this one can be replaced with missing variable c. So, that can be written as c plus c bar. Next. In this term, three variables are there. So, there is no multiplication with the one. Okay. Now, so this term can be multiplied with this term. B plus B bar term can be multiplied with C plus C bar. So, A into B is multiplied with C. We are getting BC. B is multiplied with C bar. We are getting BC bar. Next, B bar is multiplied with C. We are getting B bar C. B bar is multiplied with C bar. We are getting B bar C bar. Next one. B into A plus A bar term is multiplied with C plus C bar term. A is multiplied with C. A C. A is multiplied with C bar. We are getting A C bar. A bar is multiplied with the C, A bar C. A bar is multiplied with the C bar. We are getting A bar C bar plus A bar into B bar into C. Now, A is multiplied with this entire term within the parenthesis. 
ओके ए इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ बी सी वी आर गेटिंग ए बी सी ए इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ बी सी बार वी आर गेटिंग ए बी सी बार ए इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ बी बार सी वी आर गेटिंग ए बी बार सी ए इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ बी बार सी बार वी आर गेटिंग ए बी बार सी बार नेक्स्ट वन बी इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ दिस एंटायर टर्म विथ इन दिस पैरेंथेसिस B is multiplied with the AC. We are getting ABC. B is multiplied with the AC bar. We are getting ABC bar. B is multiplied with the A bar C. We are getting A bar BC. B is multiplied with the A bar C bar. We are getting A bar B C bar. Plus A bar into B bar into C. Okay. Any term is repeated. That term can be right only once. Okay. So here, here A B C is there. Here A B C is there. A B C plus A B C. It is nothing but A plus A. A plus A is equal to A. In the same way, A B C plus A B C is nothing but A B C. Next one. A B C bar. Here A B C bar is there. A B C bar. No. So that this term appear only once. Next one. A B bar C. A B bar C. This term also appear only once. A B bar C. Next one. A B bar C bar. A B bar C bar. Yes. Uh -huh. No. This term also appear only once. A B bar C bar. Next one. A B C bar. A B C bar. This term also appear only once. A B C bar. Next one. A bar B C. A bar B C. Yes. Next one. A bar B C bar. Next one. A bar B bar C. So see this one. A B C bar. A B C bar. So it can be right only once. So A B C plus A B C bar. So next one. A B bar C. Next one. A B bar C bar. Next one. A bar B C. Next one. A bar B C bar. Next one. A bar B bar C. Now, from these two terms, we have to separate A B. So A B is common from these two terms. We are getting C plus C bar. Next, from this two term, A into B bar is common. We have to separate A into B bar from these two terms. So we are getting C plus C bar. Next one, from this two term, A bar B is common. A bar B is common from this two term. We are getting C plus C bar. Okay, so last term is C, A bar B bar C. So here we know that C plus C bar is equal to one. So hence we write it as A B plus A B bar plus A bar B plus A bar B bar. C. Okay. Next one. So C plus C bar is equal to one. So A B into one is nothing but A B. Next A B A into B bar into one is nothing but A into B bar. A bar B into one is nothing but A bar B. 
Next one, a bar b bar into c is nothing but a bar b bar c. Next one, from this two term, separate a. From this two term, separate a. So then we are getting b plus b bar. Next, from this two term, separate a bar. So b plus b bar c. Okay. So we already know that b plus b bar is equal to 1. Okay. Next one, b plus b bar c is nothing but b plus c. This is another formula. B plus B bar C is equal to B plus C. Okay. So, according to that one, A into 1 plus A bar into B plus C. So, that is nothing but A into 1 is nothing but A. A bar into B plus C. Okay. So now this entire term can be taken as X. Okay. So then it is in the form of A plus A bar X. So A plus A bar X can be written as A plus X according to this formula. Okay. So then we have to write it as a plus x, a plus, a plus x. So what is x value? x value is nothing but b plus c. So here x is equal to b plus c. Substitute x value. So then we are getting a plus b plus c. So this is the simplified expression we are getting from this given Boolean expression. a plus b plus a bar b bar into c. After simplifying, we are getting the expression as a plus b plus c. Okay. The same problem can also be done with Carnot map. Okay. So, up to this point, it is okay. From this one, it can be converted into min terms. By using that min terms, we have to use three variable Carnap map. Then we are also getting the same expression A plus B plus C when we are solving with Carnap map. I hope all of you understanding this video. If any doubts in this video, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really understanding uh, this uh, uh, lecture, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. For better understanding of this entire digital electronics course, digital logic design course, switching theory and logic design course, go to this channel, go to the playlist called DLD ORR STLD ORR Digital Electronics. It contains approximately 350 videos. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.